Chell can now die in my Portal 64 D-Make. She can die from these energy balls. And she can die from the hazard liquid. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. And now that she can die, she can respawn too. Which she also does if she falls outside the map. This has been a long-standing issue of the game, so I'm, I'm glad to finally have that fixed. And to implement the death liquid, I had to f implement the effect of when you were under the water, which involves fog. Now, fog on the Nintendo 64, I can't just set it up globally where I just turn it on and off and it applies to everything. I actually have to configure it into each material individually. And I didn't want to have to do that with all materials because, well, you, most of them aren't really ever underwater. So instead, I just made it so anything that you see underwater has permanent fog applied and anything out of the water doesn't. You can see if I turn off the top layer of the water, the fog is still visible even though you're not actually underwater. To, to implement the energy ball, I actually implemented the Doppler effect in my sound engine. So that's the effect of, you know, kind of the car going vroom, like that. Having these new mechanics in place allowed me to complete three more test chambers. This leaves only three more test chambers until I've completed Portal First Slice, which is a huge milestone for me. I, when I started this project, I was thinking, well, I'll just start with getting one or a few test chambers to see how plausible this is. And I thought getting Portal First Slice done was a very far out there goal that I would, you know, be lucky if I reached. And I am right there. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm hoping by the next video, I'll have those three test chambers done. And so until then, take care.